How to calculate cross product if A equals to A1, A2, A3 and B equals to B1, B2, B3 then A cross B is A to B3 minus B to A3 A3, B1 minus B3, A1 and A1, A2 minus B1, A2 Now we learned how to find that in one of our videos which was we need to write the components of A in a row starting with the second component and repeating it at the end right and then same thing with V and then we saw how to get or how to remember this cross product right now I'll show you the matrix method we know that A cross P is going to give us a vector and we're trying to and this vector is always in 3D since the product I should not use the word product the cross product of A and B is is normal to both or is perpendicular to both the given vectors so that is in the third dimension right so let's take the standard basis vectors the unit vectors i j k so i'm using vectors i j and k right which are here also the directions which we say the direction numbers we assume that they are in the direction of i j k x component y component and z component right so as I said a b c let's write down our vectors with their components which is 1 2 and 3 for a and 1 minus 1 and 2 for b right now this matrix results into that form so we get this i and you can actually see if you hide this part then you're left with this portion right so I'm writing this in a determinant form so I'm not trying to use technical words here, but I'm just saying write it as as given here 2, 3, minus 1, 2, right? I'm just going to show you steps how to do it. So that's in the direction of vector i, that is x, right? In the next component, you'll write with minus j. So it's a nomenclature. So you write plus, minus, plus, minus as you move on, right? And then hide these two things, right? So the row in which j is there, and the column in which J is there. So you're left with these four things here. So put them in a box, kind of like this. 1, 3, 1, and 2, right? And then write plus the vector K. And then again hide K row and the K column. And you're left with 1, 2, 1, 1, minus, right? 1, 2, 1, minus 1. So this is what you kind of get here. Now what does this mean actually is now you can multiply as we did there these two things right so that is kind of similar thing but it's just a nomenclature which we are going to use so here the matrix is a very standard way of doing things and those who have done matrix before for them it is very easy now in any case why I am introducing it even to those students who really don't understand it is for reasons and that is when we do simultaneous equations with vectors or whenever we have to solve many equations involving vectors this becomes a very efficient way of doing it right so that is the reason why imagine when we have a cross b is such a long term to remember now if we complicate it further it becomes very difficult to handle in that case matrix will be handy now here we can write this as 2 times 2 is 4 and minus of this will give me plus 3 and this is j and it gives 2 minus 3 and plus k which is minus 1 and minus 2 and so we get a result which is 7i minus this is minus 1 so it becomes plus j and the k is minus 3 here so minus 3 K, right so we get a cross P is 7 I plus J minus 3 K so that is our answer for the given question right so we can write a cross P is equals to let me write it here so we, we get a cross P equals to 7 1 minus 3 right so that is the way we can apply matrix and do the same thing right so I hope you don't find it very difficult get used to this process and soon you'll start appreciating it that's that's the only way right 
So in cross product, sometimes this can be, calculating cross product can be kind of difficult and tricky. So adopt the method which you feel good about, right? So let me also give you the other method, and that is similar kind of thing. I'll not calculate, but I'll show you. In the other method, we are writing these numbers in rows. So number is 2, 3, 1, right? 2, 3, 1 till 2, right? And the other one, starting with the second, which is minus 1, 2, 1, and ending with that second, right? So the i component you get by 2 times 2 minus this. Do you see that? So 2 times 2 minus this, the same thing. And then j component is 3 times 1, right? So which is, because we have a negative sign here, it's just kind of reverse, right? 2 times 1 in k component is this cross this, right? So, so you get the same answer doing that also. So both are equally good methods. The only thing is that this matrix method helps you later on for solving linear equations and solving. Sometimes it has an edge, right? That's what I'm trying to tell you. But this is the right time to choose one method or go with both. All the best. Thank you.